atrial fibrillation. In this condition, the discharge or firing rate from the atrium may reach up to 600 per minute. Again, the ventricular response may be rapid, it will produce rapid atrial fibrillation, or the ventricular response may be slow, in this case it will produce slow AF, or the scientific term is to call it AF with rapid ventricular response or AF with slow ventricular response. How to diagnose AF in the ECG? The B wave will be absent because in atrial fibrillation, from its name, fibrillation from the fibrils, the fibrils itself are producing electrical activity. That's why there is no organized atrial depolarization to produce a definitive B wave. So B wave will be absent. The rhythm will be irregular. This is the classic sign of atrial fibrillation. The rhythm will be irregular, especially irregular irregularity, as we were taught in our medical schools. Irregular irregularity. The rate may be normal or rapid or slow, depends on the ventricular response. So the rate doesn't matter that much, but the rhythm is the one which is so important. The rhythm is irregular and there is no P wave. Regular rhythm in atrial fibrillation can occur in cases of complete heart block. In this case, the ventricular rate is originating from the AV junction or the ventricles, not from the atria. So sometimes, if you know that this patient has atrial fibrillation, and then in some follow-up visits you will see a regular rhythm in the ECG, you should suspect in digital toxicity or complete heart block, because in this case, the atria will not pass any electrical activity to the ventricles and the ventricles will initiate its own rhythm from either the junction or the ventricles itself. In this case, the rhythm will be regular. So, regularization of atrial fibrillation is a sign of complete heart block and you should suspect digitalis toxicity. As we said before that rapid AF and paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia may be similar in their rapid rate and in absence of the B waves, but atrial fibrillation rhythm will be irregular, but in SBT it will be irregular. Multifocal atrial tachycardia or MAT, it's a type of arrhythmia that's commonly seen in patients with COPD on bronchodilators. Ectopic foci are located at different sites within the atrium, so each one is producing different shape of B wave because the electrical focus is different in its position. Once the position or the focus changes, the B wave shape definitely will change. And also because of the different distance from the focus to the AV node, there will be different BR intervals. That's why we will see in the ECG three or more different shapes of B waves are requested to diagnose MAT, especially in lead 2 because it is the most one that's showing the B wave. Variable BR intervals, irregular rhythm, and rapid heart rate. Rapid heart rate because it's a tachycardia. Multifocal atrial tachycardia. Rapid heart rate at multifocal atrial means the B wave has different shapes and different BR intervals and the rhythm will be irregular. So the only difference between MAT and atrial fibrillation will be the presence of B waves. So once you suspect that the patient has AF but you find some B waves especially lead to at least three different shapes, this case will be MAT. This is a similar condition which is called wandering atrial pacemaker or WAB. It is a similar as MAT but the heart rate will be normal. The rhythm will be irregular, different shapes of B waves, different BR intervals, but the heart rate will be normal. There is no tachycardia in this case. Ventricular premature beats. It is called ventricular extrasystoles or premature ventricular contraction. In the ECG, as we can see here, it will be bizarre shaped. It will not be narrow, complex like the identical sinus beats. It will be bizarre shaped not preceded by B waves, there is no B wave here because it is coming from the ventricle and the QRS complex is opposite to the T wave direction. So these are the criteria to diagnose a BVC in the ECG. Bizarre shaped complex, not preceded by B wave, the complex is in the opposite direction of the T wave. These BVCs may be unifocal in the same lead 
or the same shape. If they are taking the same shape every time in the same lead, they will be called unifocal BVCs. But if the shape is different from one BVC to other BVC in the same lead, they will be called multifocal BVCs, means they are coming from different foci within the ventricles. They may appear as couples, two successive BVCs, or trios, three successive BVCs, and they may alternate with normal beats, like what is happening here. One, two, three sinus beats, then the fourth beat was BVC. In this case, we will call it quadrigemini. And they, if they alternate with every one beat, we will call it bigemini. If it is coming as a third beat, it will be called trigemini. Bigemini and trigemini are common findings in digitalis toxicity. Ventricular tachycardia. By definition, VT is the presence of three or more successive BVCs with a heart rate of more than 100 beats per minute. So once we see at least three BVCs, but must be successive with a heart rate of more than 100 beats per minute, this is a VT. And then we will see to call it whether sustained or non-sustained VT, it depends on the duration of the ventricular run. If it is more than or equal to 30 seconds, it will be called sustained VT. If less than 30 seconds, it will be called non-sustained VT. VT may be associated with hemodynamic instability, and sometimes the patient will be hemodynamically stable. Of course, the management will differ. In VT with bulsalis patient, defibrillation will be the solution. In the ECG, as we said, rapid rate, it's a VT, ventricular tachycardia. So once we say tachycardia, heart rate should be more than 100. Regular, more or less, and the shape, frequent BVCs, like up and down, like this shape. This is one of the enemies in the CCU, of course. Ventricular fibrillation. VF is an ECG or monitor finding in many cases of cardiac arrest. Treatment is defibrillation. VF may be fine or coarse. In the ECG, like fine or coarse hesitations with no definite waves. This patient has a risk, of course. Defibrillation is a solution. Shock this patient and don't call your senior, please. Tourzat de Bois. It's a French term means twisting of the points. And also, it's a specific form of polymorphic VT. As we said, it can be unimorphic or unifocal or multifocal. This is a polymorphic VT. It occurs whenever there is a delayed ventricular repolarization, like prolongation of the QT interval, as we said before, or permanent U wave with their causes. So prolongation of the QT interval or prominence of the U wave can predispose to this very serious arrhythmias. It is commonly associated with hypomagnesemia. That's why magnesium has a very great role in its treatment. Torzat Dubois. 